I'm back. Like I never left. What's going on, people? It's Michael here, otherwise known as Mike Harris Gaming, and welcome to episode two of Sherlock Holmes. Let's fucking do this. You still on the same um, case? I believe that is pray tell. But yeah, we're carrying on from the little boy following the guy to see what's happening. Basically, see what happened with his dad and everything. So let's find out. Here we are. Hey, exactly where we left off. Okay. So, what, he went in there? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, horse, get up my way. Right. Locked. It's locked, blood. What we gotta do? Is there any other way? Over there, look. Beautiful. Da -na -na -na. I keep forgetting I can run. There you go. We're in. Sneaky bastard. I assume we gotta go through here unless it's locked. There you go. Alright, let's go, let's go. Can't run through here because it's too obvious. Right, well, I'll go on. Nothing there. Let's go. Are we really climbing through the window? Are we looking through? Okay. Shield? Of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. He's drawing it, any? Why don't you take a like camera or something and take a picture? Wow, a lot of expensive stuff. It's a chair. Right. Where are we going now? Next window or? Oh. It's too dangerous to enter. Too dangerous. We're gonna peek through windows instead. I can't see what's inside. Oh, for fuck's sake. Or not? Round this way. That's back out, in it. Unless there's a way... Yeah, let's... Get off the wall. Oi! Oi, mate, he's stuck on the wall. Get off. Thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right. This window? I can't see what's inside. Yeah, mate. I can't see what's inside. What are we doing at the front door, though? No way. Dangerous to enter. Bruh. What we gotta do? Oh. Here we go, son. Taters. Bags of food. I like this ass. I like this ass. Do only two people live here? I wish one was me. Ah. Is that it? Time to report to Mr. Holmes. Let's get outside oh. before I get caught. We gotta go. Let go. Back to Mr. Holmes. Hop the railings. Hop the railings and boy off the ting like why? Why do loading screens take so long? Jesus. Wiggins' tale was quite unusual. What do you make of what he found, Holmes? Examine the item brought in by Wiggins. Wiggins, what you draw me, mate? Wiggins did a good job. Yes, Wiggins. Man like Wiggins. Where are we going? Examine the item brought in by Wiggins, and I've just done that. Or oh, we have to look at it on it. No. Holmes, we need to help. This game needs to be more specific of what I've got to do. Okay. Encyclopedias, drawing of coat of arms. This. Oh my god. I don't know. That's not the one I need. That's not the one I. It's probably none of these. I can't see this being any of them. Nope. History. Cocaine two fake drops. Sick. Marks and symbols. Hey, That was actually well easy. What the fuck? The coat of arms of the Marsh family. Nowadays the representative of the family is Lord Edward Marsh. The well-known benefactor, he provides the poor people of Whitechapel with provisions, warm clothes, etc. Lord Marsh is also renowned as co-founder of Special Education Programme, which allows poor people the opportunity of an education. Lord Marsh resides at 3 Mainsbury Road, London. Here it is. Why has he got his address, fam? So this man could be Lord Marsh. Huh. A lord who hangs around in a public house. Lord Let's pay a visit to Lord Marsh. We'll pretend that we're interested in his charitable activities. Yeah. There you go. 
Let go, let go, let go. Let go, let go, let go. Mr. Holmes, you have a visitor. Oh, just ask him to wait. I'm afraid that won't be possible. This young lady refuses to wait for anything. What? Father! Caitlin! <laughs> Miss Caitlin's boarding school was flooded. Everyone was sent home. As if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> My word, how is it possible that you have grown up so fast? You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. What do you have to say, Kate? You're on a new case. A respectable lady who's being blackmailed? Or is it a love story between a prince and a suffragist? However did you guess? You will tell me, won't you, Father? Maybe. We'll see. If you behave. All right, then. Have fun. I'll go and unpack. Will you help me, Mrs. Hudson? The fuck? Pay a visit to Lord Marsh. A. Hey. Oh, we gotta go there. I can't remember. Marsh's house. Of course. Yeah. That. I wasn't expecting it to be on there. I thought I was gonna have to fucking find it. No, in this game. And take about three days while I'm at it. Why is there two people? Get out. Who asked you? Who is that? Well, isn't this interesting? What the fuck? Are you trying to kiss me, bro? Get out! Yes, finally! Holmes, about Caitlin. Yes? What? She has grown up, hasn't she? Don't you think it's time to... to tell her? To tell her what, Watson? Well, about her father. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Holmes... You were responsible for the death of her father. You owe her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Can't you see that? She must never know. Watson, is that clear? Holmes. It won't and can't happen. Oh, my God. Let's go. Let's go. Trick or treat. Uh, come in, please. Let's go. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to my home. How may I help you? Good day to you, Lord Marsh. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Ah. His eyes are bloodshot, mate. I don't know. Yeah. This. Ring. Sweet. Blanket. Is he ill or what? I don't know. Uh, Painkiller. Okay, let's go back and change these. I don't know, I don't know. I'm well. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this. Peel's blood. What else? Wait, is there anything else here? I don't think so. Where are we going? Okay, as you do. Personal assistant. What is it? Appointments. Yeah. And then go to this guy. Boom. Hunting club. One more. This. Physician. Boom. Complete. Learning. Okay. You. Yeah, bye. I'll oh, press that again. I kept doing this last time. Fuck off. Let me off. Thank you. I meant to press A. I keep pressing X because it says it right there. I hope we're not disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. I'm glad to hear it. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? 
Ah, uh, yes. It is a war that we must fight. On our streets, and now too, from my home. You must surely have noticed those bags full of items, clothing and books for the unfortunate. That is inspirational. Um, at my own humble level, I too try my best to support those in need. I thought perhaps that I could be of some assistance? I don't see why not. I already have the valuable assistance of Dr. Fisher, who happens to be my personal physician. I recognize your face. It's curious. Your face seems familiar to me, Doctor. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? Well done. You are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries over there, would you believe it? <laughs> Not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can approach the other fellows to see if they might be interested in a special job. Ooh. A special job? May I ask what you're referring to? Certainly. Since Lord Marsh began his special education program in 1889, he foresaw that such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help make London a better place. That's remarkable. Yes, indeed. In order to truly see, one requires vision, yes? But also insight. And Lord Marsh has believed this since he was a child. Oh, oh, Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so romantic. Let's close this topic. Forgive me, Lord Marsh, you're looking very pale. Might I offer Dr. Watson's assistance? That is kind of you, but I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. How long have you been like this, my lord? I'm fine, Dr. Watson. Don't fuss. Painkilla. Yeah. In that case, why are you taking such powerful painkillers? Excuse me, what do you mean? Mr. Holmes is referring to the pills on your table. I'm sorry, but that's a medical confidentiality. Confidentiality! Oi. I'm gratified by your interest in my charity. You're the first who has offered to help. Cool. Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these poor people. A provision dealing with the paupers of Whitechapel. Cool. Just wandering around man's house, looking at his shit. Lord Marsh, hunting with his friends. As ah, you do. My dear comrades, Lord Collins and Lord Harrington. If it wasn't for this godforsaken English malady, I'd be with those rapscallions right now. All in due time, my lord. The fuck? Ooh, that thing actually helped me. Dear Lord Marsh, here is the list of selected participants for the special education program in October. It looks to be a very promising event. I'm looking forward to it. Eh? I've never heard of this man. Oh, okay, just go for John it. Strobridge. I've seen this name before. It was on a missing persons poster. Sweet. Is that Last all? Year, three orphans were put through medical college. And Thanks to Lord Marsh and the special education program, a great many poor people will have a second chance in life. Yeet. I can't quite work it out. Do you have any idea as to the number of people who might owe you their lives? Oh, don't embarrass me, Mr. Holmes. But indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would be a fairly large family, I imagine. <laughs> yes, the, the list would be longer than any of your short stories. As for how large, well, Fisher is the one who keeps record. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. I stand firm upon that point, Mr. Holmes. I quite understand. We'll most certainly send a donation towards your educational program. I shall take my leave then. I thank you both and I wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Likewise, Mr. Holmes. I'm intrigued by the special education program. I've never seen so many provisions for the poor. And just still searching around. We're still just going around this guy's house, as you do. What's that here? Anything? Kane. 
I just Lord casually Marshall climbed up that. Helps hospitals. It's extremely honorable <laughs> to devote one's whole life to assisting you lot. the poor. Wee! All right, let's leave and see what happens. So we got a load of evidence now of that. Basically, the special job. Um, what actually do we have to do now? I have no idea. Investigate. I'm gonna go back to the boys' house and see what happens there. To I Chapel. Hello? Are you gonna open the door? What are you doing? You just gonna stand there? Thank you. Talk, talk, talk. Yay! Mr. Holmes, do you have any news about my father? Tom, Tom, not so fast. I wanted to ask you if you remember your father mentioning anything about a special education program. An education program? No, he only talked about a special job. What's this box, Tom? Oh yeah, I just found it, Mr. Holmes. It was ever so well hidden. I've no idea why. Well done, my boy. It could prove very helpful. Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Right. We've got a key. A ramrod to clean a rifle. That. The sweet pressed wolfjack. Wolfjack. Looks like a military badge. Sweet. And it's this oil well, I need, but I can't weapons. go on that. Weapons. Tom, does your father own a rifle? A rifle? No. A rifle? If he had, he would have shown it me. I'm sure that he wouldn't have shown it you. I need to find this rifle. Rifle, 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 where are you? Is it here? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh. Okay, we have something here. Hey, fucking thank you. Rotate. Alright. Oil. This scrap of cloth was used to oil a firearm. Sweet. Tom, does your father have any other property? No. Well, at least I don't think so. I have to take Toby. He'll take a sniff of the oil and we'll find that rifle. Yee! So I have to go back to my place and get my dog, I do believe, and then he'll sniff the oil and we'll find the rifle. But we're going to do that in the next episode. I hope you did enjoy this one anyway. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all my future content. Thank you very much for watching. And peace. The fuck. Out. Little boy, little boy, little boy. Hat.